My name's Matt, welcome back to the shop, and today we're looking at what Mike Grady sent me, the fucking gorgeous bastard. He sent me an E-Tech injector. Can we see that? No, we can't, you fucking dickhead. Zoom back out, let's go back out, back out, back out, back out, back out. There we go. So, an E-Tech injector. This is the bad boy. It weighs just under a kilogram, so if people are saying, you know, oh, just stick this on a fucking two-stroke, um, two-stroke motorbike number one this injector has a limit an rpm limit basically it's all about um how quickly it can energize uh the coil and all the rest of it um it has a frequency rate and basically this cannot operate i should move it to the right location this cannot operate over 6000 rpm so if you you know if you look at <laughs> Most two strokes, especially KTMs and stuff like that, they really only start producing the you know their peak power and all the rest of it. Eight thousand, yes, you'd be able to tweak this a bit, but it'd mean making it generally bigger most of the time. You've got to remember this is a kilo. This weighs uh, about half the weight of the crankshaft, or you know another piston, um, another piston, and probably the cylinder as well uh, with the alley ones and all the rest of it. You know this is well maybe not the fucking cylinder. But yeah, you know what I mean? This is ridiculously heavy. Um, it's this that's heavy, this is just an aluminium casing. You know, there's not really that much to this. Um, as you can see, basically it's quite basic. You just have two leads in. Um, this is where, when I was showing you on the uh, diet example, this is where all the fuel flows around. Flows around all in here. That light really isn't fucking helping, is it? Um, and then you can see there's some filters there, that's how the fuel gets in, that's its bypass in. Some seals, this snap ring seal here, and all the rest of it is welded. Now, oh, before we move on, just take off this Johnny, and there you can see the actual, there's some shit in there. There's a number pla uh, lasered on the end, and that's the actual, can you see that? You can see there, you see that little circle, that's actually the end of the actual valve itself, the pintle. Any road, so um, this is in such good nick, I think it needed cleaning. I think is what Mike said. Uh, that's again, there's all the holes for the fuel return, but it doesn't stink of fuel, it's weird. Um, I don't know if this works. Uh, we can get this to work if it works internally, if there's nothing fucking wrong with it, it just needs cleaning out and stuff. Um, we can, I want to fit this to an engine. I want to fit this to a um, a 500cc two-stroke, that's what I want to fit it to, really. Or a, a 400, maybe a 300, something like that. Uh, and just see how much we can get, how much power! And I'm in the process of buying an emissions tester and all the rest of it. Um, I'm with you guys, you know, it'd be awesome if we could come out with a half warehouse of sorting out... Um, you know, a, 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 an emissions beating two stroke, that'd be fucking awesome. Um, there is also, just on the back of this, like I say, I don't know what to do with this because it seems too god. It seems I was going to cut it up, but it seems too good to cut up. Now, there is someone sending me another one, um, which he reckons is in fully working condition. So, if that one's in better nick than this, um, well, I keep on moving out of shot, it's here. Um, if the other one's better than this one, then we'll cut this one up, or vice versa, we'll see which one is what. But to assess them, I want to basically fill them with fluid, water probably, and just, even if I just submerge it in water, I just want to see it um, actuate. Any road, uh, there's another engine that some people have been pointing me towards, which will be in the alternate engine series, which is, the, I'm sure I'm saying this right, it's the Riger uh, engine, I'll put it on the screen if I'm pronouncing it wrong. Um, now I've contacted, someone put me in contact with one of the guys who says that he was actually involved in the design. I asked him for some information, patent number, something like that, and he says I'll have to wait for the publication to come out, which I'm a bit kerfuffled about. We'll see what's being said because the patents are public, you know, public knowledge, so basically we should be able to see what it is. I'm a bit meh about it. Uh, some people say it's a step piston and stuff like that, we'll actually see. The engine costs six and a half thousand euros, which nearly made me fucking pass out for a 125. Um, yeah, I nearly choked on my own fucking vomit. 
uh, six and a half grand for a fucking one two five engine. Clean. They reckon it's clean. They reckon it's zero zero emissions or very close to or something like that. I am interested to see what they have to say. I would love to see some pants. If any one of you will know where there is one or whatever, I have searched. I haven't found anything. Any road. So yeah, that's what's happening with this. I would love to put this on an engine or maybe the other one. We'll see which one's the better one. Um, we'll see what the models are and all the rest of it. Um, anyone have any information about the cleaning procedures, uh, programming and stuff like that? Any uh, stuff I would greatly appreciate. That'll just help me instead of me trying to fucking work out absolutely everything if you're already an expert or whatever in these kind of things. Uh, you know, if you have a snowmobile and you know you've, you've got some experience with them or what have you, that would be fantastic. Hope that makes sense. Thank you, Mike. You're a fucking legend. And I will see you in a bit.